Hey guys, this is Manjeet here and I want to do a quick review and a quick unboxing of the OPPO A83. Now many of you guys would be asking me why the A83, what's so special about it? Being a budget phone, I would really recommend everyone to buy this phone because you know if you're going for something which you know you are in a tight space with, which you are in a tight budget with, you should go for this phone. It comes with an 18 to 9 aspect ratio, it doesn't come with a fingerprint scanner, which is kind of futuristic because if you notice, there's facial recognition. I'll be showing you guys much comprehensively after the unboxing. So thank you guys for tuning into this video and uh, let's begin. So here is the OPPO A83 smartphone. Really looks premium, really looks good. So here are the specs on the back. AI for beauty technology for the camera, 3 gigs of octa-core CPU RAM, 5.7 inch full, full display and 3,180 mAh battery. So opening this up on the top, I really didn't want to wreck the packaging because I am a sucker for that. So opening this up, in the hand it feels really good, it feels amazing. So inside you get this box again and um, a shiny and well lit written OPPO on the top or, and on the side. Now opening this up, sliding this up and here you see the iridescent shine of the OPPO logo. So keeping this aside, here we have the phone, the OPPO A83. So it feels really aesthetic in the beginning. So let's see. And look at the back guys, it really, really looks amazing. The, let's put this up to... Okay, it's loading up. And already I'm fingerprinting it up so that, you know, I won't be babying it. And as it's booting up, I just want to show what's inside the box. So this is where the phone comes in, this is the tray, you guys know that. So here is where you will be getting a cover inside and the SIM ejected tool. Keeping this aside. This here is the USB type 2.0 and this is the charger. I did charge the phone so it's not in the best quality. And this here are duds which you get in basically all kinds of phones nowadays. So this here is the dud and it really feels you know natural it's original it's not such of a good you know of a good quality I wouldn't recommend these guys keeping everything aside let's come to the phone so I have already set up my initial uh, system apps and everything and opening this up you guys can see the facial recognition pattern and as I swipe up you guys can again see that in the back, I have put a slap to cover in it. It's really cheap. And uh, as it's opening it up, this here is the interface. It really feels really fluid. It's really amazing. Almost like an iPhone if you have to swipe from down. It's really good. The brightness is amazing for the IPS display. 720 ppi for so it's I guess 242 ppi. The camera on the other hand as it's a single lens camera it's good and I feel like the back camera doesn't does justice to this phone. The front camera is much more better than the back. And going to the settings you guys can see the interface is again very smooth and very buttery. I really love it and here you have the initial settings. Let me just focus on that and 3 gigs of RAM so let's start this off again and yeah and here you have it 3 gigs of RAM up to core processor 7.1.1 it does amazing it's running on Android Nougat for a budget phone like this this really has you know gotten my attention so here are the things version and base version of course kernel version Canal version and of course everything is smooth and dandy because it hasn't gotten any updates till now so I was a bit skeptic so coming to the photos this is my friend and he clicked some amazing selfies with this camera and it feels really good it feels really amazing 
that uh, the camera, the 8 megapixel camera has so legit value. So this here is the 3.5 headphone jack, the USB type 2.0 and of the grill and the camera. So in the back on the single lens camera again it's much more better than the other phones I have seen and it really does well with other phones. So here is the comparison with the OnePlus 5T. You guys can see the OnePlus 5T feels massive in my hand because it's a 6.1 inch display and this here is a 5.7 inch display. The screen, the camera, everything looks fine but with single camera Android has come so far away. Thank you guys for watching this video and I do hope you guys liked it. Do tell me in comments what you did like and what you didn't like about it. And um, regarding the giveaway that I was having previously, the S9 Plus and of course the iPhone 10, the giveaways, uh, terms and conditions are already explained to me. If you guys would like to see that uh, video right away, that's the link below. I don't know, it's there somewhere, but I gave a card and you guys can press it and you guys can see it right away. So the next thing is that I needed to do an update on that. Basically, I didn't have this phone for over, you know, a day or something. I used it, but I didn't use it for over a day. And uh, this was just a general review and general unboxing of the phone. And um, I would suggest you guys to really see and really understand what phone, what you like about the phone and what you don't like about the phone, what you don't like about the phone. For example, if you guys do not like about something about the phone, do comment down below, do tell me what you don't like about it and maybe I'll be doing another video on that. So the next thing is a channel update. So you guys know that I have reached 300 subscribers. Thank you so much for everything guys. I am just, you know, for me, it's such a huge opportunity right now. I don't, I'm just basically a startup. As you, can, as you guys can see, this is my home and I'm just starting up. And it's so cool that many of you guys, like 300 guys have watched it, or 300 people have watched my videos and they have really liked it. And the comments that I get are really amazing. I tend to reply to everyone and I do like everyone's comments. And yeah, well, but now about the channel. I was thinking of creating a playlist. So what do you think you guys, what would you subscribe, what would you, you know, what would let you guys to watch my channel more? Would it be technical reviews or would it be a vlog or would it be something else? Do tell me that and I'll be looking back to the comments and of course I'll be replying soon as well. And do ping me up in Instagram, Facebook and yeah, my I do have a Facebook page that I did want to, want to share but more on that later you'll get the link on the, down, on the description down below and uh, yeah thank you guys for everything uh, i love you guys and take care bye